In this lesson, I will show you how to run Playwright test using command line interface or just terminal. For example, how to run all tests or how to run tests for the specific browser or how to run tests in headed mode or headless mode, how to run the Playwright report using command line interface as well. So those commands are very useful when you need to trigger tests, for example, in CI CD server. This is the way how you can trigger different tests that way. So in this lesson, you will learn how to do that. Let's get into it. So in the previous lesson, we installed the framework from scratch and we have example spec.ts with two tests as an example. So let's run those tests. How to do that? So we go to terminal and type npx playwright test and hit enter. And playwright will run those tests for us automatically headlessly. You see all of them passed and we see six tests passed. Why is that? Because by default, Playwright will run those tests in three browsers. Browsers are defined in the config.ts. If we scroll this down, we see the projects. Project Chromium, Firefox, and WebKit. So in all three browsers in parallel, those tests, these two tests will be executed. That's why we have six tests. And we see that if we run npx playwright show report, we can check the report. So let's do this npx playwright show dash report and report is opened as html page we can see that uh, two tests executed in chromium two in firefox and two in webkit and if we click on any of those tests we have a before hook then we have two steps of our test that shows the piece of code that was executed and the afterhook is like a teardown method. So that's it. Okay, how to run the test for the specific browser. So you call the same command npx playwright test, but specify a project that we want to use. So let's say project equals to Chromium. Chromium is a Chrome browser. Run it again and we see that just two tests are executed and they are executed headlessly, as you may notice. So how to execute test headed? So we will see the actual browser. So we will open this command and in this example, we need to add a command dash dash headed. So during the execution, Playwright will run a browser and we will see the actual execution. So you see it happened really, really quick. As I mentioned, Playwright works very quick and those tests are pretty short. I can run it one more time, but you saw the browser showed up, it executed two tests and tear down. So what else you can do through the command line? Let's say that uh, you have several test files under the test folder. For example, we have example spec.ts and let's say we will have few more files. But if you want to execute just one specific file, this is how you should do it. So you type npx playwright test, then space, and then just provide the name of the spec file that you want to run. Example.spec.ts space project is Chromium. Let's run it headless. This time I run it. And we can see two tests are executed because we called this particular spec file. And also you can call a specific name of the test. For example, let's say we want to run just uh, has title test. How to do that? So we use the same command, but I remove the name of the spec file and I replace it with this dash G space double quotes and then inside of the double quotes I provide the name of the test has title click enter and we can see one test is executed let me open the report npx playwright show report here's our report has title is executed and let me show you by the way what happened if we introduce a failure into our test so here at line number seven I expect that page uh, to have title playwright but I change it playwright one right so I want to fail it on purpose and if I will run this test right now it is running and test is failed so 
and I go to the report and here we go what I see in the report that expected pattern was a playwright but the actual was this so our pattern playwright one was not as part of the string that's why it failed and it's showing the part of the line of code in the report where exactly it failed all right so let me fix this back and two more things I want to show you. Let's say we have a test has title that we want to ignore from the execution. How to do that? We can use the tag test.skip. And if I run this spec file now, you can see in the report one test passed and one is skipped. And let me show you how it's displayed in the reporter. So if you look in the reporter, we see that two tests, but one was skipped. And we can see here in the filter skipped one and passed one. Pass test has a check mark, skip test doesn't have anything. If we open the skip test, we see the skip message. This is how it displayed in the reporter. And if you want, for example, run just a specific test as part of your test suite. Let's say you work on the debugging and working on this particular test. And when you run the test, you want to run only this particular test. How to do this? Same way, very easy. You add test.only. And if you run the command to execute this spec file, only one test was executed, one test pass. So we ran only this one and the remaining of the tests, either this test or if we have more tests than this, they would be just ignored. We would run only this test. So that's it. That's the main commands that you can use in the terminal to run your playwright test, specify the spec files, skip the test, run specific test, and so on. These commands are mostly useful when you want to run your tests on continuous integration server or if you want to quickly run certain tests headlessly on your computer. When you work on test development, uh, more comfortably work with the UI mode and how to run your test in UI mode, I will show you in the next lesson. So, see you in the next lesson.